Clears the centre square once more. Jenky first back there. Had a bit of time with a good shepherd behind play. Hutton for the Bears. He's doing well, isn't he? That's a good player, Hutton. He's just showing that he's not just a full forward. He kicked 100 goals in a premiership side for Claremont in Western Australia last year. Oh, good mark, Kennedy. Pinched that off Jenky. I thought Jenky had made the best position. Kick by Kennedy. Oh, short of the 50. Shot. Bad kick. So there's still time left for Hawthorne. There's eight minutes remaining. They trail by 14 points. Now this Gow is a problem. You see how far uh, Rendell is behind Gowers. A kick by Gowers. Short of half forward. Gastev spoils Allen for the umpteenth time today. Condon. Nixon. Very wide. Paul. I think he can keep this in. Oh, he has done. Well played to Anderson. Out in front of goal. Chance for Dunstall. Oh, excellent mark. Well, he, Zanotti was behind on that occasion, and what's going to happen, especially in the last quarter when the pressure is on, the ball's going to drop, and it did on that occasion. I know it's hard for Zanotti because Johnson's such a good player whether you're playing in front, behind, I don't know what the answer is, because he can do it both ways, Dunstall. Dunstall for his fourth goal. The Hawks are still in the picture. Two in the last quarter to Dunstall. Four goals, four for the day, and the margin's back to eight points. And Rendell, the problem on that occasion, because it came out to centre wing here, and they really did set him up, Hawthorne. Gowers let out in front. Well done by Hall to at least keep the ball in. There's the high ball. It was Anderson, I think, getting it high. You see there's a knot. He just caught out of position. In front, Dunstall. He's really responding. Well, just you, you picked it, Don. Uh, Rendell's gone off. Merritt back on. Just over seven minutes remaining then in the game. Eight points the difference. Hart bumps the Bears down towards half forward. It's the Brisbane Bears who lead. And Hawthorne, with their future very much on the line, are fighting very determinedly. Quick handball then by Ashcroft boots it in. And it will be a free kick, I think, to Langford, who was taken high. As you can see, he dropped something. It's a quick handball by Hart on that occasion. Very reflective. Ball coming back to Langford. Langford goes in short. This is Nixon, who runs away and boots it out wide for Gowers. 103 to 95. The Hawks come forward again. Collins on the lead. Too far out to score. Where's Dunstall? They've got him double team back there. Triple team now as he goes for the mark. Off hands it falls to Allen. 35 metres out. He snaps. It's close. It's a goal. Here comes a blast from Mrs. Bly's past. Sir and Joseph Banks. Now he wants a closer look at Betsy's botany. Now that's broken the ice, hasn't it? And why is Bly getting into bed with the MacArthurs? Can we mine on it? Hawthorne storming back. They've kicked the last three goals. Gow's in the middle. It comes to Hudson. Another goal and they'll be in front. A wobbly old kick. Hamilton spoils Collins. Zanotti with great speed. Backs himself for the bounce. Well played, Mark Zanotti. Noonan centre wing. Jarman all Free over it. Free kick to Noonan. The Bears led by 20 points with nine minutes left. It's now two points with six minutes left. Kick to the outer side. Big leap from Gowers from behind. Wasn't paid the mark. McDonald slaps it towards the boundary. And will have a throw in. Well, fitting, it's going to be a big finish. It's been tight all day. The Bears led by a point at quarter time, trailed by a point at half time. Robert Walls knows the anguish of all of that. And then they led by three points at three quarter time. Merritt gets it down. Out of defence, Nixon a high kick back towards midfield. Leslie got a fist on it. Now Jarman through the centre. Kicks it down towards half forward. Allen and Gaster fisted away by the defender, taken by Clark. Gets it to Hutton, forward at half back. Hutton, long kick, Wetzler, metres in the clear, nobody near him. The nearest Hawthorne player is 40 metres away. He needs to run. Peeling off down the ground, McGuinness comes to meet him. He pops it over the top and finds Shackey. Well, you can't blame McGuinness on that occasion because what he did was run towards uh, Retzlaff. He had to do something, Retzlaff. It was a one-on-two situation, and he did get caught out. Maybe the fellows down the ground should have realised what was on and run down and at least met Shackey. Well, they're pretty tired, some of these players out there on the ground. Merton could hardly raise a gallop there. Wasn't he exposed then? Well, the tempo is different. And reserves to seniors. And now Shackey will kick from on the 50. What an important kick this is for the Bears. Lawrence Shackey. 
hasn't got the carry. They can test about five meters out. Loose ball, Langford with dash. Throws it out. Still they go after the ball. Merton, well done. Gets it away to Jenke. Up from the back pocket towards the wing. Noonan pushed as he went back for that ball. And Actually, that the wasn't a free kick because he pushed him in the front and the ball was in the vicinity. Well, with the free kick, he finds McClucky. His kick down towards the pocket. Too long for Kennedy. But he keeps it going the Bears' way. Kennedy! Oh! oh that was it smothered. It was a nice. free it's kick. It's a poster. It's hit the post, so the Hawks are still within a kick. We've got three and a half minutes left, and the margin is three points. Langford boots into the outer side. Nixon in front, almost a clever mark to Hart. Diving over the free top, kick, there is Wetzlaff. It's going to be a free kick to Nixon at right half back. So we're down to 3.25. The clock continues to run. Nixon plays on and boots it out wide. On centre wing, Hudson. Green in close attendance. Hudson keeps it in. Coming to meet the ball is Campbell. He gets it out of bounds. And the clock continues to run. Well, coaches, fans, commentators were at fever pitch. There's not a big crowd this afternoon, but my word, they're making a lot of noise at the moment. Campbell gets it out to Leslie, who's been terrific. Boots through midfield. Shackey, not a particularly good hand pass. McClucky has set a task now. McClucky and Jenke. Still McClucky in front. Jenke gets rid of him, though. He's claimed by Noonan. Back comes Shackey. It needs a kick. Oh, well Set done, Jack. by Jarman. Shackey took too long. Over the top now, Anderson. Gets around Gaston. He kicks goalwood. It's bending, it's bending, it's bent too much. From behind. It's too slow, Shaq. Too slow. But what a terrific smother by Jarman. He may be, Don, but he's kicked two goals in the last quarter and the Bears are still in front. Had he got it over the top, Shaq, there were two men running down the ground. He would have done it with his hands. Two minutes, 20 left. Campbell short passes in. Do you know dangerously <laughs> He's played some game, Noonan. Short pass across the ground. They're using up a bit of time. Here's Hamilton. Brian Duke, the Brisbane runner, has gone out with another message from Walls. The Bears lead by two points. The kick up to a big pack short of centre wing. You've got to get in front, Roger Merritt. Oh. It's coming back for the free kick to Hawthorne and to Jenke. Lucky advantage wasn't paid there, as far as the Bears are concerned. Minute 54 left. The kick by Ray Jenke. They gather in huge numbers. Green, a good punch away. Condon. Dive, Mark, no. It comes away and is cleared by uh, Clark. Here's Ashcroft. The ball bounces out and will have a throw in. And the Bears happy to see it out with a minute 32, 31, 30 left. Robert Walls looking for his sixth victory. He's coached the Brisbane Bears. Thrown in on the wing. Rucks go at it. It's Gowers who thumps it away. Clark's hand pass back into the congestion. This is Nixon across his body inside the 50. Big pack at the fall of the ball. Great Hall. mark, Hall. Hall is marked at about 40 metres out. He needed somebody of Hall's calibre. He's tremendously courageous. Look at the way he just throws himself. Oh, courage goes out the door with Hall, doesn't he? It's terrific. They trail by two points. Hall goes for goal. A lot riding on this kick. Oh, it's a great kick for the Hawks. It's a goal. 45 seconds remaining in the game. In fact, the clock runs down to 40 now. And they're in front, Hawthorne. Another heartbreaker perhaps coming up for the Bears. Well, look at Hall. Just throws himself at the four. It's a wonder he doesn't injure himself more often, Hall. When he gets up, that's his fourth goal. And what a courageous goal that was. Something the Hawthorne side needed. Well, that's when the Bears needed Rendell in the middle to belt it away like he's done all day. That's what Collingwood had when Montfort beat the Eagles. The Bears have the ball. They need a score. They need a goal to win the game. Retzlaff can't keep it in. 25 seconds remaining. And it'll be down to about 10 seconds when the Ruckman... 15 seconds when the Ruckman touches this one. Merritt in run. He wins it too. Tackled by Merton. The ball held under, holding the ball. Bears free kick. 
They have seven seconds left. They need a quick kick and a mark inside the 50. Ashcroft has it. I think they're out of time. The Siren beats Brisbane, and the Hawks have stolen a miraculous victory. Who would have believed it? The Bears led by 20 points with nine minutes left and have been beaten by four.